you guys ready to explore the hidden gems of Whedon Island? We're cruising the mangroves in the micro skiff for redfish, snook, and trout. Get ready for some tight lines and epic catches. Let's get after it. Okay, we're gonna start the morning with mini mullet. Basically, I'm gonna work into the mangroves as fast as I can. The tide is basically doing nothing. It's gonna go out a little bit, but uh, I'm gonna fish this kind of as a top water around until we find the mullet. And then we're gonna switch out to uh, redfish gear when we find the mullet. And we're gonna see if we can find any reds moving around. That's kind of the plan right now. Tide's not really supposed to be moving, but it's, it's gonna drop about six, uh, sorry, two inches every hour for the next hour about two and a half inches so it's really really slow outgoing tide that's not ideal but we're gonna work with what we got i heard that i didn't see it i, could, I don't know what that was snook give more of a popping sound i give that just like roll sound Somebody there. Morning. Morning. I did not see you there. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see. Had a little running over there. No bad experience, just didn't see the guy when I came around the corner. Made sure to stop fishing and give him his space. But we're gonna go see if we can figure out what's going on with these fish. All right, to save us all some time, I ran into that gentleman on his jet ski right here, and I worked all this shoreline. And I came up into these mangroves back here and zigzagged and did some circles. And then we came back down, and finally right here, we got our first bite. All right, we're working our way back out. Doesn't seem like the fish were really in the backwaters. We're gonna hit these choke points where they turn into big ponds. See if we find them hanging out in any of those spots. Got the small shrimp on my other rod, so we'll, as soon as we get out of here, I'll rig that up, or grab that rod at least, and see if there's any reds on the bottom. Here we go, oh, fall off the freaking platform. Strong little guy, aren't you? Man, I almost fell off the platform when I set the hook. <laughs> Whoa, skunk off. Come here, bud. All right, guys, that was on that NLBN. It just popped out, but decent little snook in the morning. Let's see how big he goes real quick. Oh, manatee, about 19 inches. Hey, manatee, what do you think about snook? Well, I guess the manatee doesn't like them. That's all right. Let's see if we can get some more fish, though. How did that fish miss that? It wasn't big or huge, but decent enough there are definitely a couple fish up on this thing but I think they're all mullet I don't think they're reds oh that was a big old snook and a big red right there another freaking red but really cast it right up by you guys and you didn't come out after it huh bunch of jerks that's a nice red right there right there they were up super shallow super super shallow oh that was one right there that was a fish right there 
Ooh. These reds are ultra, ultra shallow here. I can see one. I can see one. There's a red. There's a red. There's a red. And I want to keep quiet because I saw some snook up top. Nice. Let's get this guy going fast. Come here, bud. Nice red. I just spooked everything out. There were some big ones in there and there's some big snooks. So we're going to go get this guy undone and see if we can get... Uh, couple more right off of that that oyster bar here, I'll just work with me a bit here aim undone beautiful little red there he goes okay now I see something moving up over here That is, I don't think it might be a red or a little snook. Yeah, there's definitely a nicer fish up there though. That, oh, I didn't get to see it. There's a mullet school up there. lures sometimes you gotta go get it step off the boat all right so those reds are sitting in this grass right here i can now see a little bit of the the oyster bar to sand to grass oh and there's actually a red right there Or fish. <sighs> Got 20 pound on. Let's loosen that drag. Loosen that drag. Loosen that drag. Let it be able to run a bit. If it wants to run, let it run. Grading on that slam, guys. Whew. It's been a tough bite today. I'm not, not gonna lie, it's been tough. Just coming for the boat. Where are you going, dude? Yeah, this one's got some oomph. Gusto, he's super strong. Not huge, but nice fish. Woo. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, right in the corner of the mouth. Oh, we eat an island red. Can't leave it. Can't leave it. All right, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that in the video. I'll try to like, zoom in on it. But when that fish ate, I felt the bite and my line went slack. And so I started reeling up and I couldn't actually catch up to him until I saw my line actually go left and right. And that's when I reeled down fast and just set the hook. So I didn't actually feel the bite. After, I didn't feel a pressure after the bite. It just went blank. So he grabbed it and started swimming towards me. But I saw when my line moved that I had the fish on and that's when I just set the hook. Um, so it's gonna look like I just set the hook out of absolutely nowhere. Um, but yeah, sometimes it's really important to watch your line or kind of have an understanding of what your bait feels like for situations like that where it just went blank. It was like I lost my bait almost. Just reel down, set the hook and there'll be a fish on.
I wasn't planning on that. I was really cast it out. And I was like trying to turn the GoPro on and this thing got smashed as soon as it hit the water. But that, uh, that actually completes a slam right now, guys. A Whedon Island slam. That completes our slam. Uh, I wasn't, I literally was trying to turn the camera on as I cast it out and this guy hit it, I think before it hit the water. But we got a redfish, a snook, and a trout. Dope. At Weed Island. That's a tough, tough thing to do. Woo. Okay. That doesn't seem like there's a ton of fish left around this area. Might be time to move on. Baby red. This is gonna be the cutest red I've ever caught in my life. Check this thing out. That is a little squeaker. All right, all the cameras are dying, but I wanted to get a picture of the fish up on the platform. All right, guys, we're back at the ramp. That was a uh, quick morning out at Whedon Island, so it is about 12.30 right now. We launched at about 6.30. And I wanted to just go over with you what we caught the fish on. So, skipping in the bushes for the snook is the NLBN Lil Mullet. That's in white, so I was fishing that. That's what we got the snook on. I got a couple other hits. They just didn't stick. The second fish that we caught was the redfish, and that was casting up around the oyster bars. That's on the mirror lure Little John, and that's on that Z-Man knocker weedless jig head. This is like a one tenth ounce, so I was able to cast that up super light, natural looking around the oyster bar, and it doesn't get stuck because it's weedless. And then we got the trout and the next two redfish on the Z-Man, uh, it's like the four inch diesel minnow in white, and it's the Z-Man Ned Lock weedless jig head. I love, love, love this jig head. I've caught everything from snook, trout, redfish, you name it on this thing. Tarpon. I've gotten tarpon on this jig head. Bonefish on it. So it's a great jig head. It's the one tenth ounce as well. And with this uh, little three and a half, four inch swim bait, just worked out great. So that's what we got the fish on. And hopefully you guys can get on some fish yourself.